So one of my earliest memories of seeing Kyle Duke, he came to Crandon in I think 2004 racing pro light. It was early on in his career, but he decided he was gonna enter that pro light in the cup race against the pro twos and pro fours. There was a lot of uh, back and forth, whether or not they'd allow it. Sure enough, come race time, big pack of dogs comes through turn one, Kyle Duke and his tiny pro light right in the middle of it. I think he showed a lot of fans here in the Midwest that day that he is absolutely fearless and he has attacked racetracks all over the country the same way ever since. And that's why he has so many fans here at Champ Off Road. Kyle is an idol that we've always looked up to. Even in the pro light days, I've always wanted to race against him. So uh, it's cool. His driving style is absolutely amazing. And so I, I really look forward to it. It's how we build our trucks now too. And uh, he's just somebody I really want to go out and compete against. Man, Kyle, I think Kyle looks at like us as a team just like him. We came from the pro light, jumped straight to pro four. We're a smaller team, low budget team. I, we work out of our shop at the house. Like everything's home built and that's how Kyle started his foundation too with his father and I think he looks at me and my dad as like him and Kurt you know I can't Kurt's leg legacy is a whole nother deal but Kyle's started out in the same footprint as we had we, we work our butt off to get where we at and to come out here and we're racing in the premier class as pro four Kyle saw something in me and he saw our driving ability to go help us pursue. He knows that we put in the hard work to make it happen and he's in the same boat. So Kyle is somebody I have the utmost respect for in this sport. Yeah, you know, Kyle Duke, he's one of a kind. You know, John and uh, Kurt raced against each other for a long time and that was, that was a battle the entire time they were racing together. And um, then Kyle came out and he was the same way and he, you know, he fought tooth and nail to win. And it, I think that inspires everybody when you see somebody that fights that hard to win a race. And um, I think the best saying that I ever heard from him is, I don't care about points. If you win every race, you are the champion. And uh, I think that one kind of stuck, you know. I've always been one for points racing, but if you win a race, you have, you, you know, you have that mindset like, man, I'm the best. We're winning points and you just keep, you know, you keep wanting to win. And, um, you know, he's, he's also been a uh, rival to my family, but um, that's probably been the best rival in the short course uh, world, the Greaves and the Ladukes. And, um, you know, we wish he was here. Um, I love watching him and CJ go at it all the time, and then they race really good. So hopefully, uh, hopefully he gets back soon. Absolutely nobody like him. You know, it's not the same with, without him here. Um, nobody sends it like he does. Nobody gets the crowd on, on their feet like he does. You know, just absolutely wish he can get back out here in the future. Um, we're all praying for him. Um, such an awesome guy, and I'm uh, just really hoping for the best. Kyle LaDuke as a racer is pretty much just balls to the walls, wide open throttle all the time. Uh, great guy to watch, you know, kind of inspiring to watch how he, how he drives and just never lets off unless he absolutely has to, which isn't very often. How's it going, Kyle? I know what you're thinking. Yeah, we look good. I uh, just want to say, hey, man, uh, we miss you. Uh, can't wait to see you. We hope you get better. And uh, this place ain't the same without you. Kyle, you've touched so many people in this sport and industry, and every one of us are behind you. Uh, we're praying for a speedy recovery and look forward to seeing you back at the track, buddy. Hey, buddy, just thinking about you, praying for you. Wish you were here, you know. It's not the same without you. You bring the heat, and we all miss you. Hope you get well, buddy. See ya. Yeah, Kyle, stay strong, man. Um, it's gonna be tough, but, you know, just like you just like you attack the track in your Pro 4, I know you can attack this battle and, uh, and be a champion here, too. So stay strong, and, and we'll see you back out here. Kyle, get better, buddy. I'm ready to bang doors with you, and I really want to beat you next season, so we need you back out there, bud. Hey, Kyle, I just wanted to let you know that you have way more fans here at the track than you think. That includes your competitors in the pits. Everyone here is really pulling for you, but my man, if I know one thing about you, you are fearless, and when all hope is lost, you fight like no other. You fight like a son of a And I have no doubt that I will see you at a racetrack soon, and you and I can talk some smack to one another. Hey, what's up, Kyle? It's Brent here. I just want to say, hey, we're here with you. We love you, and I hope you're the best, buddy. I think about you night and day. I just, we're all here as an off-road community, and we want what's best for you, and we know you're not here, but, you're here in our hearts, buddy. Kyle, as we knew it would be when we first showed up to Anago, there is a massive void that we are feeling this season. Without your presence, you are missed. You are competition and intensity personified. And just as a character and an individual, 
we, we can't say enough how much you are missed here. And you have an entire community behind you and supporting you in fighting your toughest competitor yet. And we send our love and warm regards to you and your entire family. So we can't wait to see you back at the track soon. Take care.